Okay, in this video we're going to look at a solution to B1 from the 2018 Putnam exam. So it involves this set of vectors uh, that's defined as follows. So it's A, B, and A runs between uh, 0 and 2, so there are three choices for A, 0, 1, and 2, and B runs between 0 and 100, so there are 101 choices for B. And the goal is to find all vectors V such that when we extract V from that set, so that can be partitioned into two sets of equal size and sum. So now I'm going to introduce some notation first. So let's say we have X, which is a subset of P. Let's say this of X is equal to the number of elements in X. And then let's say um, the sum of x equals the sum of the elements in x. And now what we want to do is figure out which v are possible and then uh, maybe their general form and then prove that every v of that general form in fact leads to a partition. So um, let's suppose that uh, P minus V can be partitioned equally into A and B. So I'll write that as A with a union dot B. That means like a disjoint um, union. Great, and now here we have the following properties. We have the number of elements in A equals the number of elements in B, and we have the sum of the elements in A equals the sum of the elements in B. Now from this, it follows that the sum of the elements in P is the same thing as the sum of the elements in A plus the sum of the elements in B plus this vector V that was extracted. Great. And now the next thing we can do is add up all the elements in P. So I'm going to do it uh, this way, which I think is maybe the easiest way to do it. Notice that's the sum K equals 0 to 100 of 0K plus 1K plus 2K. So that's like we're running uh, A over 0, 1, and 2, and then B runs from 0 to 100, but I've just called it K. But now notice that that's exactly equal to the sum K equals 0 to 100 of 3, and then 3K. Okay, but um, that's not too hard to show. Notice that the bottom part is going to be three times a triangular number. So um, it's pre pretty easy to see that this is equal to uh, 303 in the top entry and then 15,150 in the bottom entry. Okay, good. So we've calculated the sum of P in that way, and now we want to calculate the sum of P this other way. So now the next thing I'll do is notice that this equals 2, the sum of the elements in A, because the sum of the elements in A is equal to the sum of the elements in B. And then I'll say this is plus AB, where I've renamed V um, AB. And now the next thing I want to do is look at the extreme uh, left and right hand side of this equation, and then reduce the whole thing mod 2. And notice if we reduce the whole thing mod 2, uh, this part is equal to 0. So we get A, B is congruent to, and so this top bit is 1, and this bottom bit is 0, mod 2. Okay. Great. Well, what that tells us is that if we're able to partition this in the first place, then that means V has to be of the form 1B, where B is even. Now, we don't know if it's possible to actually do this partition given this kind of vector, but if um, we do have a partition, the vector has to be of this form. Okay, so I'll clean up the board and then we'll actually construct a partition for every vector of this form. Okay, so so far we've established the following. So if we can partition P minus vector V into A union B, where they're the same size and they have the same sum, then we know that V is equal to this vector 1B, where B is even. 
So now we want to see, is it possible to create a partition for every such V? And it is possible. And uh, the, th the first thing that we want to notice is that we can take all of the vectors in P and write them as follows in pairs. So uh, the first set of pairs I want to look at are as follows. So uh, the vector 0, 0 is paired with the vector 200. The vector uh, 0, 1 is paired with the vector uh, 2, 99. And then so on and so forth up to um, the vector 0, 100 is paired with the vector 2, 0. And notice this is like 101 pairs of vectors, each with their sum equal to uh, 200. Okay, great. And now we're going to kind of do the same thing for uh, the vector 1 um, blank. And so let's do that. So we have um, 100 is going to be paired with um, 1, um, 0. And then 199 is going to be paired with uh, 1, 1. And then so on and so forth up to 149 is going to be paired with 1, 59. And this is uh, exactly 50 pairs. And their sum is equal to 200. Okay, good. And notice that in all of this list, we're missing the vector uh, 150. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take all but three vectors from these lists and we will assign them equally to um, A and B. So in other words, take 148 of these pairs and um, assign half to A and then half to B. And that's of these pairs right here. So let's like maybe um, put two dots next to these. So of these pairs with the dotted orange. Okay, so that's going to leave us three pairs left over and then this vector 150. And let's see uh, which pairs are left over and then this vector 150. And this is where we have to split into cases. So case number one is B is not equal to 50. Because if B is equal to 50, well, then it's playing the role of this, um, and we have to do something a little bit different. But let's say B is not equal to 50, then the three pairs left over are uh, the following, or we'll make the following uh, assignments. So we'll make 0, and then 100 minus B, and then 2, 25 plus B over 2, and then finally uh, 150, all of these guys will assign to A. Okay, good. And then next, we have uh, three other left over. So there is 1, 100 minus B, comma, uh, 2, B, Good. And then finally, uh, 0, 75 minus B over 2, and we'll assign those to B. And now notice if we add up these three vectors, we get 3, and then uh, let's see what it is, 175 minus B over 2. And then if we add up these three vectors, we get 3, and then 175 uh, minus B over 2. Two. So just to reiterate, we took these 151 pairs, we took 148 of them and split them equally into A and B. And now we know that A and B at this point have the same sum because each of these pairs has the, have the same sum. Then we took three leftover pairs which are given by uh, these elements not including 150. So notice we've got uh, three pairs there. Um, and 
then we assign these three elements to A, those three elements to B, um, but each of those three elements has the same sum, so that means that in the end, A and B have the same sum, and that's if B is not equal to 50. Okay, so now I'll um, clean up the board, and we'll see what happens if B equals 50. Okay, good. Now we're ready for case two, which is the case when B is 50. So we'll do the same kind of thing where we take 148 pairs and split them evenly into the sets A and B. And we'll do that for all pairs except the following three pairs. So 0, 50, um, 2, 50. Uh, yeah, so that's one of the pairs. Good, and then let's see. The next pair is um, 149 and 151. And then uh, the last pair is 0, 049 and 0, um, 51. Good. <clears throat> so uh, now notice that what we'll do is split these pairs up, take three of the elements, put them in A, and three of the elements and put them in B. And we want to do that so that the sum of each triple is the same. So we'll take 0, 50, um, 149, and sorry, this should be 251, and 251, and put those in the same set. So maybe we'll take those, and place them in A, and then we'll take the other three and place them in B. In other words, 250, 151, and uh, 0, 049 are going to go in B. Okay, so again, after this 148 pair step, A and B have the same sum, but we haven't used up all of the set that is P minus V, but after this step we have and we've maintained the same sum. Okay, good. That's the end of this video.